Magic Mask 2 that's in DaVinci Resolve 20 is amazing. It's AI-based rotoscoping. But one thing that happens, if you duplicate the timeline, you change the resolution, you often lose that cache. You gotta retrack it later on. So I've learned some new things since the last time I posted on this. So I'm gonna show you the very fastest way that I know of to render out just the mat so you can use it in future timelines and not retrack it later on. So step one, in your DaVinci Resolve timeline, make sure that the clip you're working on and the timeline resolution are in agreement. Make sure that they're the same because that's gonna make everything a lot easier for you down the road. So I've got 3840 by 2160 here on my clip and you can see this over here, my timeline is also 3840 by 2160. So that's step one, easy enough. Now step two is just to make a duplicate of the clip. So I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option. That's gonna make the copy if I drag. So Alt or Option with Shift, so a second modifier, Alt option with shift keeps it from going left to right. So it keeps it perfectly lined up. You can always verify that if you come over here to time code overlays and make sure that those numbers over there are matching. Um, when we render in place, this is gonna change, but let's get on to step number three because I know you're waiting for it. Go to the color page. We'll run Magic Mask on this guy. Now this has some color grades already on. It has like an output transform and there's a small contrast bump. I don't need that to run Magic Mask. So I might just actually, let's, I'll show you some more shortcuts while we're here. I'm gonna hit Shift S to add a node before. And on these ones, if I wanna get them out of the signal flow, just hit E, E, it takes them out of there. And we'll go ahead and get this lizard Magic Mask. So Magic Mask down over here in the tools, this little person looking icon, you take the eyedropper, which should already be selected, make sure your overlay is on. This is like a red onion skin sort of overlay. Click somewhere on the body. It's just a single point click in Magic Mask 2. Hit track forward and backwards. And let's speed this thing up so we can get on to the next step. All right, the lizard is tracked. Now here's what I missed in the past. I used a color generator to generate the alpha rendered out from the deliver page. Uh, a faster way of doing this, if you want, is actually to just disconnect the green output from over here and take the blue output instead. The blue output is what carries that red mask over there. Take the blue output, pipe it over here to the green. It does turn temporarily blue over here, but it's actually, once we change pages, it does just take it as color information, not as a mask. So I can go to the edit page. In fact, I'll come back to the color page. You'll see it just swapped back over to green. So now that we're on the edit page, we can render this out. Oh, and a huge thanks to Chad Miller, who's the colorist that actually showed me this technique. So we can obviously render from the deliver page and that gives us time code. But if we're in a crunch and we gotta do this really fast, just right click on the clip over here, say render in place. And then just, you know, if you're on a Mac, ProRes, maybe even on Windows now, ProRes 422 is plenty for a, a, a matte image, a black and white grayscale matte. And you might change the file name to say something like Roto. And this will auto increment numbers for you with render in place as well. Obviously also render at source resolution is a good idea. Hit render. It's gonna ask you where you wanna place it. Place it in a nice renders folder. And we've baked out that alpha channel right there. Now the nice thing about doing this is I can modify this further. So if I don't like how sharp these edges are, I'm gonna zoom into here. I can smoothen those out with something just like a blur on that alpha channel. Now there's no alpha channel in it. It's just a black and white image, but it's gonna work as one in just a moment. So if I grab the effects panel, grab just a Gaussian blur, you can see I've been able to smooth out that magic mask really easily. But how do I use this to actually cut out some of this image that's underneath? If I hit D to disable, there's our actual lizard. How do I use these together? Well, all you need to do is take another copy of it and place it above in the foreground. So I'm gonna take option or alt again. That's our copy modifier and shift, holding those together and dragging up. And once I've dragged it above, we're just gonna change some blending modes in the inspector. So over in the inspector, pop it open if it's not open already, composite mode for the foreground, which is the actual lizard image. Come down here, scroll down to foreground, makes sense. And then the mat is gonna sit underneath it on the timeline, so on video three here. Composite mode, change this one to Luma, and nothing looks like anything's happened here because I just have stacked this all on top of each other. But if I disable the clip underneath with D, you can see I've basically taken that alpha channel that I've rendered out as a mat. I've even smoothed it out with a Gaussian blur so I can do whatever I want to this completely separately. For instance, common thing you see all the time right now on TV is people like to stick text behind objects so they feel like they live in the scene and that's one way that you could do that you could obviously also select both of these make them a compound clip but hopefully that opened your eyes to some possibilities how you can render out just a single alpha channel modify it afterwards 
without any extra trouble. Um, one thing to point out is we did lose the time code, and I'm hoping Blackmagic pays attention here and gives us a way to render a source time code with uh, render in place. But anyways, my name is Chadwick. I appreciate you so much. This channel is called Creative Video Tips, where I teach everything about DaVinci Resolve. And because there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in the next video.